As we've been reporting big news, encouraging news really in the battle against COVID-19 and our man on the inside is Dr. Ali Hassoun, infectious disease specialist with Huntsville Hospital. Thanks for joining us again, doctor. Thank you so much for having me. Now we learned that the Pfizer vaccine is effective for six months, which begs the question, what happens after that? And many of us get an annual flu shot, but are we going to have to get a COVID shot every six months? Yeah, so, you know, the data that they have is at least for six months at the moment. And I think they're going to continue following on that. So I'm hoping it's going to be longer than six months, hopefully nine months, even a year. It probably by the fall, um, like what we do with the flu virus vaccine, we might need a booster because these viruses can mutate as we've seen. At the moment, the mutant that we seeing the vaccine would work on it. We don't know how it goes by the fall, but I think possibly we're going to need a shot as a booster once a year. Hmm. What are your thoughts about the AstraZeneca vaccine? Uh, Canada suspended its use, even though it's been confirmed safe in the EU. Yeah, and you know, I think it's a lot of an interpretation of the result of the studies, looking at it. You know, um, United Kingdom have used AstraZeneca now since the beginning in December, and they really have not reported um issues with safety um, and their numbers have went down significantly i think it's a lot of uh, caution and looking at it differently i think as a vaccine it looks safe and efficacious it need to be looked at closely as any other vaccine but i think there is no major safety issues or problem with efficacy of it some more good news. We reported that healthcare providers are getting a bit of a break from COVID patients. Those numbers are way down. What should we take away from that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's um, definitely some effect from the vaccination. But at the same time, uh, you know, holiday times has been, you know, whether the Christmas time and uh, New Year been more than six, eight weeks now. And that will affect how much transmission going to happen. The main worry now with the spring break, you know, Easter, um, as other holiday will come, how the numbers goes up. I think with vaccination, we'll be able to reduce major surge, but we might see some increase um, in cases. And that's why we need to keep pushing for vaccination. So we control the virus as much as we can. Are you anticipating a, another big surge after the uh, spring break holidays? I don't think it's a major surge like what we've seen in December or what we've seen in July, but we can see increase in there. The main worry with increased cases is more mutation happen. Mm -hmm. And if a mutation happens, then we might see out of control problems. All right, Dr. Ali Hassoun, appreciate it. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you.